All right, welcome to a new video. This video is gonna be pretty interesting. At least it's something that I've been looking forward to for a while now. As you can see, I got a set of mirrors, but not just any set of mirrors. Check it out. These are the power folding mirrors that were available in Japan and the UK, I think, and some other countries. Every other country besides the United States gets any of the goodies. But these are the power folding mirrors. I actually got these a while back and they've been just sitting for a while and um, I've decided that I'm going to install them now or in the next few days because I am gonna do some work to it because they are white. But yeah, I picked these up for, I don't even remember how much. I think it was like 200 bucks from the newcelica.org Facebook page. They were shipped all the way from Ireland. They're packed really well, as you can see. But yeah, these are basically the only things I need are the two power folding mirrors and the switch. And as you can see, this button is what um, allows the mirrors to fold in. And in these mirrors are like these motorized thingies that, you know, obviously fold by themselves but yeah we never got these in the states and so it is kind of a plug and play there are going to be some splicing we're gonna to have to do but i think i should be able to do it based off of instructions on the forums and whatnot and yeah that's it just a bunch of irish egg cartons so yeah this is what the mirror looks like it's in fair condition you know, it's, it is an old car. It came off of a 2003. So, I also forgot to mention, um, I got the 03 ones because, you know, mine's an 03, the 03 came with a darker interior. So this button bezel thing is the darker interior. So I did some research and they were saying to have it working properly because, you know, these are for right-hand drive cars and this is going to be on a left-hand drive car. I'd have to, reuse the mirror bases on the left hand drive which are these right here and then switch this top part over and then switch the left hand drive mirrors itself this part right here onto the power folding ones but i feel like that's too much work and honestly i don't think that's too big of a deal i'm just gonna directly um bolt them on and splice them i think i am going to paint these black instead of wrapping them blue because when i was wrapping this it was the biggest pain in the ass i think it was by far one of the hardest to wrap the mirrors these wing stands right here so what i plan on doing is i'm gonna go ahead and sand this whole thing down with uh, maybe like 400 500 grit um primer it paint it black clear coat it and then yeah just get ready to bolt it on so i'm sure you guys don't want to see any of that boring stuff to watch so i'm just gonna skip all that until we get to painting and as you can see i had the mirrors folded in because you know the space is a little tight in here so i also have to push the mirror in but with these power folding mirrors i could just with just a push of a button they'll fold in by itself oh yeah and for anyone who's on the new celica um facebook page i'll post a little picture of the guy's profile um he's constantly parting out celicas and shipping them out um, he's based in ireland and yeah he's really trustworthy um, I remember I got these like within a week or something. I don't know. I've had these for so many months They've, they've just been sitting but yeah, um, he's definitely a trusted seller and would definitely buy stuff from him again All right, so forget about painting myself. Um, I actually ended up having them painted by uh, Juan's dad. Um, he does painting. Juan's the boy with the CRV. He got them painted for me. They turn out pretty good So yeah, both mirrors are now black and I also went out and got some wiring two different colors because we are gonna add two different wires and um, you know just so I don't get myself confused but yeah first things first is remove this door panel if you don't know how to remove the door panel two bolts right there move the cover one bolt right there go down here there's one screw in the middle and then there's two on the bottom lift it up pull it out and then just unplug everything all right so for these mirrors is actually pretty simple it's really just missing two wires the usdm mirrors on their harness it actually has the little um the little spots to add the two wires so i believe the jdm ones 
are a green and blue wire. Um, so if we're looking at it from this side, like this, uh, the green wire would be on the left and the blue wire would be on the right, leaving the middle empty. And then this harness is what plugs into the little um, control, this one right here. And if you look at it like this, you can see that on the right side, there are also two blank spots. Um, so the left one is gonna be the green wire and the right side is gonna be the blue wire. But since I don't have any of the actual wiring, I went to pick and pull and I just snipped off a harness. Um, that way I can use these wires and the pins that are inside of it to add onto the existing one. So it should work. The only thing is, you know, they're gonna be different colors. And as you can see, I snipped two of them off because I'll be needing six pins total. And I've already taken out three pins from this one. And to do so, it's simple, but you need a really small tool. So you can see this little cover on top. You just have to lift it up and then you go in here and you see the pins when you're looking at it this way. It's super hard to see, but above the metal pins in each slot, there's like a little plastic tab. And basically you get like a small little flathead and try to lift it up and pull the wire out from the other end. So this is what I ended up using. It was a little thicker, wish I had something a little bit thinner, but I got the job done. And there you have the pins. So in order to not confuse myself, black is gonna be my blue wire and white is going to be the green wire. So it's gonna be white on the left side, black on the right side. So when I was putting in these two wires, I ran into a little issue um, where I couldn't put them in. And that's because I forgot to lift this little tab up. So make sure you lift this little tab up, that way it'll allow the wires to plug right in. But the other issue, I opened this up and these are different pins. These are much smaller and the ones that I have for these are just way too big. So I think I'm gonna have to go to pick and pull, snip one of these ones to get one of these pins. That way I can put it in these two holes. Also, I think I forgot to mention that this harness is the one that plugs into the mirror. So this is the one that comes from the, um, I guess you call it like the chassis harness or the harness that's on the door is the one where you add the two pins to. All right, so we're back. The other day I went to pick and pull and I was able to get one of these. Basically the same thing as this, but all I need are just two of the wires right here. And that way I can put two pins into these two slots right there. And to do that, it's pretty easy, but you do need like a really small tool. I have this really thin pick right here. And basically all you have to do is lift this cover up. You just put the pick in that little slot and then you lift it up, you take it out. And then you go in here, not too sure how well you'll be able to see it, but you see how above each individual pin, there's like a little plastic tab. Um, you're gonna have to go in there and lift it up and that way it'll release these wires and you can just pull it right out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take two of them out. That way I can put it in those two slots right there. All right, so now that I have the two new wires added in, I also kind of color matched it. You can see green on the left, pink and blue on the right. And then right here I have green on the left and pink and blue on the right. That way it'll be, that way I won't confuse myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and splice these together just to test them out real quick. Plug in the little control. Um, as you can see, I have the mirror already bolted on. I'm gonna plug this in and we're gonna see if it works. So I got them just quickly tied up together, just temporarily. It's gonna be a moment of truth. I'm gonna put the keys in. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna press the button and hopefully the mirrors fold. All right, what the hell is going on? It's making a noise, but it's not folding. I'm gonna figure this out. Let's go. So basically what happened was, I guess when I got it painted, my boy's dad, when he took it apart, he uh, didn't wire the, the loom in properly. So it kept getting stuck somewhere in the edges. Um, and basically what I did was I just 
There's only three screws that holds the base and the mirror itself together. I just uh, took it apart and readjusted the, the loom. That way it wasn't getting caught in the way. And yeah, check it out. It just folded on its own. So just check it out real quick. I have the car on. Press the button. Oh yeah. So now I think the hardest part is going to be routing the two wires. So I'm gonna to have to connect two more wires, one on each, go through the door, through this little loom right here, under the dash, through the center console, through the other side, and onto the other door and the mirror. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, pretty straightforward. I'm not gonna show that. The most important part was just showing these the wiring and how it works. The other side is gonna be the same thing with the two wires right there. Green on the left, blue on the right. So after some finessing and um, looking around, this is how I ended up routing the wire. As you can see, originally I wanted to route it through the loom, but it was just gonna to be too difficult because um, if I try to get a clothes hanger, it'd be too stiff and I don't want it to like cut the wires that's in there or damage the wires that's already in there or um, just have it get stuck in there. Um, so I just went in between the little grommets. I still haven't added the black wire, but this is just a white wire. Just wanted to show you guys what it looks like on the other end. So I did have to remove the speaker because if I try to go through here, my arms wouldn't fit. Right here is the best way. Um, and then when you go under here, Sorry if the lighting is terrible, but that's the little hole where the wire goes through. It's right here by the dead pedal. Go up there, there's a little hole. And um, it's originally filled with this little sponge. Just pull it out and the hole's right there. And then you can route the wire. And then from then on, you just go through under there in between the center console, which is pretty easy. Go through the other side. Uh, hopefully it's the same thing on the other side. And then um, we should be done the next day. All right, so I'm working on the other side right now. Got the Boston heat plane in the back, but basically to get down here, you're gonna have to remove the door sill. And then there's this little plastic piece right here. And again, there's gonna be this little sponge and the hole is right there. But yeah, um, I kind of noticed that if I route the wires through here and I'm trying to get it through the door, I'm gonna have to go through that hole, go up into this loom right here, and then back out there. And I thought that would just be too difficult. So what I think I'm gonna do is cut the wires here, route it from here, through the loom, down through the hole, and just splice them back together in here. That way it's just easier to maneuver the wires and whatnot. All right, so it's the next day. Um, it got kind of dark last night, but as you can see, I have both mirrors on and they're wired up. Let me just show you real quick. Right now they're closed. I'm just gonna open them up. So the passenger side closes and opens a bit slower than the driver's side, but that's not the main issue. The main issue I'm having is, this is like kind of the POV of, of me driving. And when I look over to the mirror, this is as far as it goes and you can see I see a lot of my quarter panel and I could barely see anything towards that side. So as you can see, it just snaps. Same with the other side. This is as high as it goes and then it's, it's slightly better, but it's not how it's really supposed to be. But then again, these mirrors are from a right hand drive car. So that is the issue. But um, I did do some research and they were saying to convert right-hand drive mirrors onto left-hand drive, I'd have to switch the base, which is this second piece right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that and see if it works. If not, then this is just gonna be the end of the video. To take apart the base, you unscrew that. This screw is really, really tight. Um, this is a passenger side mirror and I got it out. There's blue Loctite in there. And the driver side mirror, I stripped the screw, so I'm gonna have to extract the bolt. Um, and then after that, you just peel back this rubber boot and there are two screws right there. And that's it, just three screws holding it up. 
you are going to have to fish this harness through because i mean this is the usdm one we need the jdm one and to do that i'm going to take out the pins just like i did with the wiring in this area and to do so you're going to have to lift this up with like a small pick this thing lifts up and then do the same thing where you go in there above the pins you can see the white plastic tab you just pull it up and then just pull this out and then i should fish through everything and switch the bases and we'll see if that does anything later all right so it's officially nighttime. Um, i actually spent a lot of time trying to get these screws out i stripped three of them but i was able to use this little extractor kit from harbor freight worked perfectly fine but as you can see i swapped the bases over and i can confirm that this is the move now the mirrors are angled correctly and i could finally see the only thing i'm having issue though is because the driver's side mirror was passenger side in the uk or in japan they're kind of like they kind of have like that wide angle like fish eye effect so if anyone knows if we can take these mirrors off please let me know because i'm not too sure and i don't want to end up breaking them these are now angled perfectly and yeah now you know all right you guys so here's the final product i got the mirrors right there and right there now the first thing you notice is the driver's side doesn't fold in all the way and not too sure why it doesn't fold in all the way because when i had the jdm bases there as well they folded in equally and this one actually folds in a little bit too much it kind of hits the the molding down there but i mean here it is it works not too sure if there's a fix for for that side or for both sides or anything but for now this is this will do it so yeah here we go i'm gonna just open it up so the passenger side takes a bit longer to open and close just because it like folds in further than the driver's side um but yeah here it is it's the finished product hopefully this wasn't too confusing but yeah it's pretty straightforward just you're really just adding two wires the most difficult part is probably routing it through the door that little area and then you know going all the way through to the other side and then through that door but other than that if you guys do mix up the two wires just switch them around because that did happen on that side where i accidentally had them flipped around and so when i went to go close it that side would open up and when i went to open it up that side would close so i mean yeah there it is hopefully you guys found this useful and yeah that'll do it for this one